Assalamualaikum and hi, uh, my name is Muhammad Zul Miftah bin Zakaria and we are a group of students from University Technology Petronas and we are about to present the effectiveness of attacking style in badminton to win matches and this presentation is prepared for Sir Muhammad Ismail bin Abdul Aziz. Alright, so before we dive in deeper into our presentations, so I'm about to share a bit about our group. So our group name is Victor's Group and we are coming from the co-curriculum courses of Badminton KSP 1031 May Semester 2021. Right, so for now I'm going to share a bit about our group members compositions. So our group members consist of nine mechanical engineering students, which is the first one is Afiq Zakwan, second is Muhammad Zumifta, which is me as their leader. Third one is Ahmad Khairul Ifan. Fourth is Muhammad Alif Aiman. And next we have Muhammad Aiman bin Khairul Azam. Next we have Muhammad Harif bin Siddiq. Seven we have Cik Wan Muhammad Nafal. Eighth we have Muan Amirul Ashraf. And last but not least, ninth we have Siti Aisyah bin Tim Kamal Bahrom. Alright, so since this is a group assignment and a presentation, so we have divided and distributed our tasks accordingly so that everyone could contribute and play their part in making these assignments a successful. So since we have five main topics, so first categorization is for Afiq Zakwan and Aisha, whereas they did comparisons of attacking style and other game styles as the slide maker and the presenter. Next we have Alif whereas he did advantages of attacking game style as the slide maker and presenter and the conclusions as the slide makers only. Next we have Irfan which he did advantages of attacking game style as well but as the slide makers and the presenter but then he did also the introductions only as the slide maker. So next, we have Naufal, whereas he did state the criteria of the attacking game as the slide maker and as well as the presenter. And Harif, which did the source of power for the attacking game as the slide makers and the presenters. Next, we have I'm Man Khairul, which did the additional information of the topic of these presentations as the slide makers as well as the presenters. Next, we have one Amirul, whereas he did the posters and act as the presenters for the conclusion. And last but not least, which is me, act as the leader. And what I did was collaborate with one Amirul to do the posters and as well as presenting the introductions for these presentations. So next, moving on. Let's move on to the first point of this presentation, which is the criteria of attacking in badminton. So there are three criteria in attacking style. The first one is the smash shot, second one is net shot, and lastly the attacking lobs. The first one is smash shot. It usually used for attacking play style, and what is a smash is usually it is an offensive shot fired from a high point, and it uses high amount of force. It usually acts as a winning shot and it often a shot that ends the release. Moving on to the second point which is the net shot. In badminton, a net shot is a shot that is made from the front of the court to the front of your opponent's court. It is uh, considered as uh, mildly offensive and it is very tricky for the opponent and the objective is to force your opponent to hit a weak leaf or hit shots that could not clear the net. So for the last criteria which is the attacking lobs, this trick is to get an opponent out of position to return a weak shot. To perform the attacking lobs, it is recommended to perform the attacking clear along the sideline of the opponent. And lastly, the underarm stroke technique should be mastered to play the attacking lobs perfectly. So let's get to the advantages of attacking game style. So the first advantage is playing attacking would give the opponents a lot of pressure. So by playing attacking, we can put a lot of pressure onto our opponents. Being under pressure, our opponent's muscle will become more tense and tight. Tense muscle won't perform better compared to relaxed muscles 
and this will impact the quality of the opponent shots. Uh, this can lead our opponents to make mistakes and give us scoring points. So for the second advantage, it would be we can force the opponents to stay on defense. So by giving continuous attacking shots to our opponents, we can cause them to always stay on defense. So opponents will have a hard time to counter attack as they need to focus on defending. The opponents need to somehow make a lift in order to buy sometimes and this can become a constructive lift to the attacking players. Attacking players can use the lift to smash and win ourselves some scoring points. The third advantage of attacking game style is it can create element of surprise. First of all, it is a misconception that uh, smash is the only attacking stroke. There are many other strokes or other ways to attack. As example, the attacking clear or attacking lock, which is basically just a normal badminton lock but with an offensive purpose. The lock is used to get your opponent uh, out of position and they will return a weak shot. Furthermore, if you are fast enough, the attacking clear can surprise your opponent and help you win a rally. The last advantage of attacking game style is you can win a point easier. Most of the time, attacking shot can easily win a point. This is because of the other advantages of the attacking game style that were stated before, which are giving pressure to the opponent, force them to stay on defense, and create element of surprise. This advantage will make the opponent's stamina run out faster, and they will become tired and lose their focus in the game. With this, it can help you win a match more easily. Let's talk about the comparison between attacking style and other game style. Basically, there are only two game style in badminton, which is attacking and defensive. But in defensive, they have two sub of it, which is first the deceptive stroke players, and the second one is the straightforward and defensive style. So let's talk about the point number one. So basically, attacking players they have good stamina because they want to move the Shutter quickly because basic because attacking style focus on high intensity gameplay while deceptive stroke players play this style are usually better and more reliable because they need to trick their opponent and play at slower pace. While straightforward and defensive style player they usually they have the higher and the strongest stamina because they need to keep up the tempo with their opponent. So basically, in attacking style, in the first point, it states that um, the attacking player control the intensity of the game. The second one is attacking player usually attempt to penetrate space and giving pressure to draw player out of the position. Because when playing attacking style, we need to keep the intensity in high level to make sure the defensive cannot catch up with us. So defensive game style, the first one they are in deceptive the players are want to trick their opponent to slow down the pace and the straightforward uh, the objective is to wear down the opponent make them a little bit tired okay let's talk about the third point which is the services in attacking player they use low service because they want to move the shuttle quicker while defensive player use more high service because they want to make the tempo of the game slower. Okay. Hi, I am Siti Aisha and I will continue presenting about the comparison in attacking game and other style of play. So first, for attacking game, the fast drop shots and attacking locks are usually used. Meanwhile, in deceptive stroke players, Lobs are usually more angled and deep. And on the other hand, for straightforward and defensive style, the drop shots are sharp but not as fast as attacking pattern of style. In most of attacking game, smashes and fast net shots are used. There is also quick low pushes or flicks to the back court from the net and fast paced footwork on the court. For deceptive stroke players, net shots are sharper and more deceptive but not played as fast as attacking pattern of style. For straightforward and defensive style, 
net shots are not tricky but simple and very few cross court net shots. And lastly, as an example of players for attacking, we have Rudy Hartono. For deceptive stroke players, we have Peter Gate. And lastly, Susi Susanti for the example of straightforward and defensive player. That's all from me. Thank you. Now, let's move on to the source of power for attacking game. I divided it into three. First one is good gripping technique. First, we need to learn how to use the forehand and backhand grips on the racket. Uh, this is because our wrists need to be flexible to get higher accuracy strokes. Uh, we also need to learn to switch quickly from forehand to backhand grip and also vice versa. Uh, this is to enable us to quickly prepare for, for our strokes and hit the shuttle at the highest point to deliver a quality shot. Next is we need to have a powerful smash shot. This is because the smash is the most powerful shot in badminton as it is often difficult to return because of the pace and also the downward angle of the shot. Uh, in order to improve our smash shot, we need to hit the shuttlecock when it is at the highest point to create a, a steep angle for our smash. Uh, we can also take a deep breath and exhale when we swing our racket forward uh, during the smash. Uh, we also must follow through and complete the swing uh, in order to get our smash to become more power. Uh, and also, we uh, it is important for us to dis disguise our shot uh, so that it, uh, it will not become uh, too easy for opponent to predict it. Uh, next is, we need to use uh, different types uh, of shots. Uh, for example, we need uh, to use a drop shot uh, which can uh, change the games, the game pace. Uh, this is because we can. Uh, this is uh, can be done by provokes a short lift, uh, which we can follow uh, with a winning smash. Uh, the forehand drop shot, uh, for example, uh, it enables us. Uh, it enables us as a player to move uh, the opponent to the front court. Thus, uh, we will either either uh, win a point or create a space in the mid or back of the court to exploit. Uh, we can also use uh, to move our opponent which, uh, we, uh, which uh, then we can find their weak spot uh, so then we can attack them. Uh, there is also a variation between two uh, there, there is also a variation of uh, a drop shot uh, which is first one is fast and also slow drop shot. Uh, we need to combine them to make our attacking even better. For more info, we would like to take a look at the example of an attacking style player. Many players nowadays prefer the attacking style. But the one we are looking at is the Indonesian legend Rudy Hortono. He is known as the one who introduced the fast attacking style. His gameplay is mostly consists of lots of jumping smashes and attacking lobs. As a legend, he inspires many young players to imitate his style and also many young players to fall in love in badminton. Next, we'll take a look at Lin Dan, a Chinese badminton player. His gameplay is best when he plays around the net. He often approaches the shuttle in a particular direction and then changes it last minute. This will make him more unpredictable. He often waits in front of the court and finishes with a net kill. What makes Linden the best is his good footwork speed. He's, he also has a great stability, but the most important of all he has great patience in his gameplay. He waits for the opponent to get frustrated and then finish with a kill. As a conclusion, attacking style in badminton had been proved being more effective to win matches when compared to other game style. It has many advantages such as always giving pressure to the opponents which helps in winning points. Professionals play attacking badminton because of its effectiveness and they have a high skill level to execute attacking badminton with lesser mistakes.
This helps them to increase agility and fitness due to the fast release. That's all from Victor's group. Thank you.